Welcome back to the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. I'm Violet Housethorne, joined this week by David Sokol and Mark Sherry. You just heard Brick Wall by Mikey Sweet, and we have that paired up with uh, John Prine doing Sweet Revenge as a part of our pairing show, where we pair a nationally or internationally renowned artist with an artist from our very local area that we think have at least somewhat similar vibes in the hopes that if you like the national artist, you're going to like the local artist just as much, if not more. And then starting off this block was Opal Canyon doing Come Ashore, paired up with Suzanne Vega's Rosemary. What do we want to start with? I don't know. Let's start with Suzanne Vega's Rosemary and Opal Love Canyon. Song. Ooh. Oh, Suzanne Vega has such an iconic voice. You know Suzanne Vega's voice whenever you hear it. Oh, absolutely. She is a legend. She does incredible work. And this is a really interesting song. I haven't heard this particular track before, and I really like it. Yeah, well, she said she I think she she needed an extra song to to finish, to conclude the uh, the uh, tried and true anthology of her work for A&M at the time. And so so Rosemary was the, was the, the, the song that she wrote. And the way she described it at the time was Rosemary, meaning the herb. And it's basically a song about wishing to remember or, or wishing to be remembered, uh, which is, I think, a fitting way to end a retrospective. So, right, it might be a reference to, you know, the old the old poem, Rosemary and Time. Uh, lovely pairing as well with Opal Canyon, Come Ashore. Ooh, that's a good single. I've always, I've always loved her voice. The voice on this is so good. It's so clean. Oh, it's so beautiful. She has a gorgeous voice and the harmonies are so do- well done. They are just beautiful too. Absolutely yep. champion to your vocals. And the band's really good too, of course. I mean, we've got Ray Mason on bass. How can it be that bad? <laughs> right. <laughs> Definitely. And and Jason Smith on drums. Ooh, it's really yeah. a, it, it's a very it's a it's a very cool cool band. And their new their brand new record uh, comes out uh, this weekend. It's called Tomorrow to the Sea. Hmm. They're going to be uh, doing a record release party at the uh, Parlor Room in Northampton uh, on Saturday, the 9th. That's really cool. Yeah, that should be a really fun show. I'm really excited for the album. That's, that's going to be a good one. Then, of course, uh, John Prine. It's John Prine. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I got kicked off Noah's Ark. What a start to the song, right? <laughs> That's the, way uh, the album, that's the way the album starts. And it's, it's, it's oh, like, even better because uh, Sweet Revenge is the first track on, on that album uh, <laughs> by that title. And that's how it starts. And I was when uh, I had a lot of friends back then who were big folkies and they were big John Prine fans. And I just didn't get it. The first two records just didn't hit me immediately. And uh, Sweet Revenge was completely different. You know, it started uh, it really started my lifelong love affair with the music of John Prine. And uh, I thought that song really went well with Mikey Sweet. I, there was something about mm-hmm. them that I, that I felt really paired up well. No, this Mikey Sweet tune is just great. It's it's so up-tempo, uh, which I guess is not like many of his songs. And you n- really don't get a chance to hear very many songs that start out talking about sitting on the toilet. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this song is it, like the instrumentation and the arrangement on this one is Real, real snappy, real fun. You can groove along to it. But then you listen to the lyrics and then you're like, oh, oh, love this song. <laughs> yeah, he's Mikey is a remarkable songwriter, remarkable um, lyricist. And some of his songs get fairly dark and intense. Some of them are very cinematic. Mm-hmm. Brickwall is kind of kind of the, the oddity on, um, on, on Road Dog Gospel, the album from which it comes from 2016. It's a wonderful record. I, I love that whole album. And, and Brick Wall is kind of a, you know, it's kind of an upbeat breath of fresh air in the middle of that record. Yeah, terrific, terrific record. So what do we have next? All right. Well, we're going to start off our next block with a pairing by Arlo Guthrie, the motorcycle song paired with Joe Trapasso's new tune, I'm Still Happy to Be Alive. So let's start out with the motorcycle song. <laughs> 